What a time to produce that strike. What a player to produce that <laughs> strike in terms of, you know, one centre-half, two club captain, three, I believe, I think he's the longest-serving player. Yeah. Uh, I think he is over David Silva. Uh, you know, and what happened, he just took it... He, it kind of opened up for him, and he looked as if he was going to hit it from 30 yards plus, and because nobody closed him down, he took another touch and got him a little bit closer, set himself, and then, obviously... He's, for those that saw it, the angles from yeah. behind, the it went right in the top corner. You can place it in. Michael had been fantastic. Had absolutely no chance. So, uh, an unexpected scorer, yeah. but a heck of a goal. From a Liverpool's perspective, when you see him running, Stevie, you're like, shoot, go on! I, because you're I, thinking this is going to go over. There's no way he's going to score from there. I have to admit, part of me was saying, go on then, hit it. Unfortunately, they, <laughs> he did hit it. And unfortunately, <laughs> it was an absolute saying. screamer. Um... You, you, you can't really say too, too, too much more about Leicester. They gave absolutely everything. They had made challenges and tackles and interceptions and Schmeichel made saves. But the one mistake they made was not closing the ball. They made one... Did they do that because it was company? Uh, I think so, yeah. I think if you, look, if you looked around, you've got players, you've got Ndidi, who probably ended up being the closest. Uh, he ended up going with a runner rather than closing him because... As a defender, you're thinking, right, what's, 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 the, what's the best option here? And the best option is to leave it with company. Unfortunately, company from nowhere has hit an absolute worldly. But honestly, City deserved the one. Yeah. They were by far the better side. And it did feel all the way throughout the game as though it was a matter of time. It just came from the unexpected source. For all the City domination and all the chances they created and the saves that Schmeichel make and the goal that company scores, Ian Nacho has a chance late in the game. And I mean, you couldn't ask for anything better for him coming to his favorite left foot, rolling nice and neatly for him to just be taken uh, yeah. first time. And man, you, you, you talk about a player that is not ready for the moment. And then, well, of course, we hear the stat that he hasn't scored in 27 matches. And said, well, here's why. There was an opportunity there for him to do a huge favour to Liverpool. Came up short. Other than that, Manchester City was all over Leicester. But you could feel the nerves. Uh, yeah. You could, you could feel the nerves in the stadium. You can feel the nerves from some of the players, some of the decisions that were being made on the field by players that you usually see them completing passes that are simple passes to complete. They weren't doing that with consistency. You see then Pep Guardiola in the silence all over the place as well. He's feeling it too. And company comes up with that goal and then everything just kind of goes away. It's a great match for City in terms of the result. And I think there's going to be nervous moments ahead. Even if it is a way to Brighton, there's going to be nervous moments away because it, it just feels like nothing's going to come easy for either Liverpool or City in this last match. Tell you, apparently, uh, uh, when City, to, to go back to your point, Ali, when City sold Ian Acho to Leicester, they uh, were adamant in inserting a 50 million <laughs> buy, uh, buyback clause, right. which is well and truly sailed down the river. <laughs> uh, now, not just on tonight's performance or tonight's miss, but I think just as a generalisation. So, in some sense, they were lucky that that wasn't a sort of Jamie Vardy or a Madison yes. in that position yeah. uh, to finish it, because that, you know, and we, you mentioned it during the game, was Inchenko's out of position. That late in the game, with the title on the line, and you got one goal up. All good fullbacks and centre halves are saying, and midfielders are saying, right, stay in your position. Uh, Don't uh, go charging forward. Yeah. Ali mentioned it. You could feel the tension, even just us watching here. Yeah. What, leading up to that, what, you mean? You mean <laughs> le le leading up to the goal? In the, it came in the 70th minute, in the sense that there was a time that I'm sure <laughs> City fans are thinking, maybe this is it. Maybe this is the time that yep. you know we're going to blow it. What's it like as a player in that situation? You must have had similar games when you were runs for Liverpool where yes. you need a goal, you can feel the tension from the crowd. Yep. As Ali says, the players aren't as slick as you normally would yep. see them. You know, you, you have to remember the process of why, with two games to go, you're probably going to win the league. You have to remember how that happened. And that means that you don't go trying to do it all on your own. So you don't have anybody just running willy-nilly, trying shots from 40 or 50 yards, just doing right. stupid things. You try and remember the process that you've done for nine months that have got you there. And if you do that, then with the possession you have, with the ability you have, you get an opportunity somewhere along the line. And it's an opportunity because nobody closing you from 25 yards, you take the shot and he scored.
For more, sign up now for ESPN+.